Hello again, and welcome back to Otherworldly Encounters. Today's near-death experience comes from Trisha, who found herself on a planet where she meets her deceased friend Peggy, who lets her in on a few heavenly secrets. July 15th of 1980, my boyfriend and I were walking down 79th Street in Manhattan. We were on our way to a street fair, when suddenly I was struck in the head with a clay flower pot that had fallen off the windowsill of a high-rise apartment. We were never able to find out which apartment it was, and if it was an accident or intentional, and no one ever came forward with any information. When the pot hit me, I immediately fell to the ground and lost consciousness. Shortly thereafter, I found myself floating above the scene. I recognized myself, lying on the sidewalk below, not moving, and saw my boyfriend frantically calling for help. I was quite perplexed by this circumstance, and it took me some time before I could admit to myself that I was probably dead. I had no idea how I died, because it happened quickly, but I did see scattered fragments of material, and my guess was that I had been hit in the head with something. I could see blood streaming down my face, but could not feel pain, and this was all quite a mystery to me. I eventually floated too high to be able to see myself, and soon, the city faded away as well. I ascended into a darkened sky, filled with stars, and the speed at which I was traveling accelerated. The sensation was a rather pleasant one, but not knowing where I was going was a big question in my mind. I flew by many planets, and then saw one up ahead that looked different from the others, and was headed right toward it, and then landed on it. The first thing I noticed, was the planet looked like our Earth. Everything seemed to be perfection, the colors were amazing, and there were so many that I had never seen before. The temperature was perfectly comfortable, and I believed that this must be heaven. I could see a large barrier of some sort off in the distance. Suddenly I heard what sounded like a car, and saw what looked like a dune buggy approaching. It pulled up in front of me, and I was astonished to see that the driver was my friend Peggy who had died a year earlier from a terminal illness. She looked healthy and happy. I yelled, Peggy, tell me what I am doing here. You are dead, so I must be dead also. She asked me to get in the buggy, so I did, and she started driving down a beautiful road, with what looked like white sand on each side of it. Peggy said we were in heaven, and she had a surprise for me. As we traveled down the road, I noticed it was becoming very narrow, and then we reached a sand dune, which she drove up and over, and then announced, we are at the beach. Peggy and I were best friends, our favorite thing to do was to drive to Jones Beach when we were in our early 20s, and here we were doing that exact same thing in heaven. We got out of the buggy, and there was a big brown shingled oceanfront house. I looked at it in amazement and said, wow, I would love to live there. Then Peggy said that she was told to bring me there, to make the experience feel just like the days when we would go to Jones Beach, and that is why we drove there, when we could have flown with our bodies, and that this could be my house if I am returned to that planet. I was in awe, and said, I love it, thank you. I had so many questions for Peggy, such as why are there houses in heaven, and where was God and the angels? She said that it was not my time to be there, and I had to go back, but they wanted me to have this one experience before I returned to Earth. Peggy explained that heaven was a place of dreams, and it appears very similar to Earth, for people who like it that way, and completely different for others. I asked if she would show me more of heaven, but she said I could not enter fully before having a life review. I still had to complete my earthly mission, but I would be going back to Earth with the knowledge that I can make changes, which would improve my life review. I had many questions, and she said she would be happy to answer some before I went back, and here are her answers. Your parents are here, and they visit you often. Heaven is a planet for some, but not for everyone. God is the creator, but the universe is still in the process of creation, and God experiments. Sometimes he makes mistakes and can't fix them immediately. Angels are real, Jesus is the human form of God, he helps those who call on him in times of need. He has many different looks. If you see him, he may not look the same to you as he does to me. Sometimes he even appears as our favorite pet. Jesus the man received his knowledge of God the Father through numerous out-of-body experiences. He became God's son that way, 
and his mission was to spread God's message of love. No one has ever come closer to knowing God than Jesus, and God shares his knowledge with us, once we enter heaven. I didn't want to leave, but Peggy said no one can enter, until their work is done. She laughed and said, God made a mistake, you are not supposed to be here, but he was kind when he realized his mistake, and let me make that beach house for you, before sending you back. Peggy then said goodbye, and I was back in my body, in the hospital, and they told me about the flower pot and my head injury. I get many questions about the answers that were given to me from Peggy, and I know they will seem strange to many, but that is what I was told. It all seemed very real to me, and I hope to one day return to that beach house, see Peggy again, as well as my parents, and hopefully get a chance to meet Jesus and his angels. What did you think of Trisha's story, and Peggy's answers to her questions? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed her story, please give it a like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can receive a notification when I post a new video. If you would like to share a story, and have it featured on this channel, please send a written account to my email address noted here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will come back and visit again soon.